Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make sweet and sour green mango chutney. During summer season, this chutney feels like heaven. Super tasty and refreshing and it's easy to make. So guys, let's see the recipe. For making this chutney, I am taking two green mangoes. You may change the quantity according to your needs. At first, we need to peel them off and wash them properly and now we need to cut them into pieces. So, I am cutting them. The seed has been hard now. So, I am cutting it this way. You may keep the size according to your choice. There is no problem. We need to remove the seeds, the inner part of seeds. And now, I am cutting them into pieces and taking them into a plate. So, both of them are done. Let's go for the frying pan. You may take a curry pan, there is no problem. At first, I am adding some cooking oil. Let the oil heat a little and after that, we need to add some tadka, masala. So, I am adding half teaspoon of jeera, that means cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, one fourth teaspoon of methi dana, that means fenugreek seeds and one teaspoon of soft, that means fennel seeds. We need to let all the whole spices crackle well. They should be aromatic after frying. So, after about one and a half minute on medium to low heat, the color has been changed and they are aromatic, nice aroma is coming. So, now we need to add all the green mangoes in the frying pan and now we need to mix everything well. The heat should be medium now. You may add a pinch of salt now, but I am not adding it. I will add it if needed at the end of this recipe. I am covering it for 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat and after about 3 to 4 minutes I uncovered the pan and now after mixing a little we need to add some water. So I am going to add one and a half cup of water now. We may add more water later if needed. So don't add too much water now. I added one cup of water first and now half cup more that means one and a half cup total and covering the pan until it starts to boil. And now it started to boil. So now I am adding sweetness. So I am adding some jaggery. Actually I didn't have enough quantity of jaggery. So I am adding some sugar for maintaining the sweetness of the chutney. And now we need to add some black salt. Half teaspoon of black salt. That means rock salt. And one teaspoon of chaat masala. Half teaspoon of garam masala and half teaspoon of red chilli powder. It will give a, a spiciness to the chutney and a nice color. After mixing well, we need to cover the pan until the mangoes are cooked well. So, I am covering it on medium heat. After some time, I am checking them. The mangoes are not yet cooked well. They need some more time, but the water is almost dried up, so we need to add some more water. And I checked the taste, so I am adding some more sugar according to taste. And it seems to me that uh, we need some salt, so I am adding two pinches of salt, regular salt. And now I am adding uh, about half cup of water to maintain the thickness, consistency. So now I am covering the pan again. After about 10 to 12 minutes, our mangoes are cooked very well. They are very nicely soft. So, now we need to dry up the water uh, for a nice consistency. You may mash them a little like this. And now we don't need to cover the pan. We need to cook it for some time for about 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat and mash them a little. And after about 4 minutes, our chutney is ready. I turn the heat off and uh, we need to cool it down fully and after that we need to keep it in the fridge. This chilled chutney is super tasty to eat. You may enjoy it little by little along with your meal or after your meal and it will feel more heavenly if you have some papad with it. So guys don't forget to try this recipe and enjoy it. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye take care.